and her daughter came to the scene, and I told her I was going to tow the car, and she cried. And, please don't tow the car. Please don't tow the car. Oh, no way to get no groceries. I got three kids. Da, 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 da. Please don't do this. Please don't do that. So Jimmy Carey, I know, is working the projects illegally, and uh, I knew he wanted. He was listening. So I was all about that ticket because I wanted to impress him. I wanted to make him think I was just on it because I respected him so much. Yeah, I did. So I am. Um, I said, honey, I can't let you drive this car off. She said, I'm, I'm driving it off. I said, I can't let you drive it off because I have to give you a ticket for expired tax. She said, please just give me a ticket. So I did. And now my life has been in complete turmoil for 400 67 days, I believe it is. So I'm I'm with Beth wrist 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 yes. and Beth was a police officer here in Ironton how come you're not a cop anymore um because I um got fired over a traffic citation I was trying to help a lady out with a break and then she ended up testifying in court on my behalf saying that James P Carey the chief of police at that time told her if she didn't pursue the complaint against me that he would take her kids. After I got fired in 2008, in 2009 I ran for city council and the people in this town knew what they had done to me and they elected me. And they elected me three times and I just resigned or retired on November 30th of 2021 just cause I'm just, I've been working for the city for 26 years and I'm exhausted. <laughs> So you were on the city council, huh? Yes. And at that time when you were on the city council, you knew of widespread corruption all throughout the police department? Yes. And that's all in my documents in the lawsuit. What's the damages you you had and what did you receive? They charged me with tampering with evidence because of the ticket. And then um, after that, they tried to charge me with tampering or with... Um, they switched it to a misdemeanor. If I if I would admit, if I would admit I'd done something wrong, they would make it a misdemeanor, so I wouldn't go to jail for five years. What's the ticket for? Um, expired tags. Expired tags. And yeah. You're gonna go to jail. Yeah. Okay. When we talked yesterday, we talked about a couple things where you've seen police physically assault people who are in handcuffs. Yes, that goes on a lot. That goes on a lot. I had given the guy that we arrested, a, um, he had a cigarette and lighter in his pants. He said, can I please have a cigarette? And he was handcuffed, so I didn't see anything, you know, wrong with letting him have a cigarette. And? And, um... He pulled over, I guess that guy spit that cigarette through the screen. Back then there were screens instead of glass. And uh, hit the officer in the back of the neck. Well, he, Rich got out and just wore him out right there in the street. And I just I just stood there and, and then helped him cuff him. But uh, I didn't know what to do because I was just, you know, I, I mean, I was new and I was the first woman and I, I was being harassed, you know, I mean, what what do you do when you who do you go for to ask for help if you're the only female and it's a corrupt system i mean who do you who do you ask for help so pretty much every cop you worked with you saw at one point or another they did something violent to somebody not everyone but um 75 percent yeah including pam wagner um I've never seen her uh, do anything other than kick uh, uh, whenever we had to deal with Jesse Johnson. She used to kick him around a little bit, but uh, in the alley behind PNC. 
So are you are you, are you are you telling me that every time she kicked around was just one swift kick? Is that what you're saying? To my knowledge, yes. To what I can remember, that was been a while ago. And then um, after I got sergeant, all the rules changed. What do you mean? Um, hey, I didn't have no authority. I have a question for you. So what do you mean, though, after you got sergeant, all the rules changed? I wasn't allowed to write people up like Jim Carrey wrote me up all the time. I've got all those... That's all in the lawsuit. Are you are you are you sh are you shaking right now? No, well, it just unnerves me to have to relive it again. I don't want to relive it again. She, she's shaking. She's. She sh are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I just, you know, okay. don't want to get shot on my front porch or something. <laughs> whole body's trembling. Well, why why would you be shot on your front porch? Well, it's just stranger things have happened, you know. Who would shoot you with all the cameras around? You have a camera. On? You, you you should have cameras on your house. No, I used to, but they that was. Back when I was working, they they're disconnected now. Who's on the force now that's been abusive? I'm not sure because I've been on city council for 12 years and I I haven't I, I've I've voted supported them for 12 years after they took my job away. What about goo? Um, well I told you that last night. I'd rather not repeat that. Repeat what? About him hitting the guy in the back of the neck up at Pick and Save parking lot when he was cuffed, instead of putting his hand on his head and saying, Sir, would you please step in the back of the vehicle? He just hit him in the back of the neck and knocked him in there. And I don't remember what year that was, but it's all in those documents. So I wore a wire because I was getting threatened at work. And um, so that's what those tapes are. Of the, the in, in 2008? Who's the, who's the cops that were there in 2008? Um... Oh, well, there's a whole list of them in the paperwork in that box, but I don't want to list all their names. I really don't want to do that. Tell me about the evidence room. Well, that was just a common knowledge of Grover Carter. He was an older cop when I got hired. Um, it was just common knowledge that he would take guns out of the evidence room and take them home with him. And uh, I never thought anything about it because it was just, something that happened and I didn't want to put my two cents in because I got reprimanded for everything I did and um he would just take guns that you got at where well I, just on calls and pulling people over if they'd confiscate a gun they would it would be logged into the evidence room but then later on it wouldn't be able to be located and how often that happened several times hundreds I don't know about hundreds but a lot. So you told me last night. Okay. You said it was regular all the time. There was yeah. tons of evidence logged in, and never they could never find the evidence if it had any value. If it was, if it was a gun or valuables, gone. Money. It's like, you know. Pocket knives, um, stuff like that. People would come in and want their stuff that they was took from them when they got pulled over, and then they would say, well, we don't have it. We don't have it. I don't know anything about McKnight or... or blanket chips because I've been gone too long. Yeah, but there's another thing I've here. Just, you told when he, she was being badly abused, you don't you she be ran off and fired because she was you know tried to be a decent human within the system she joined. And so so then you tell the mayor that these guys are abusing you, treating you like dog shit. Differential treatments what I how I clarified it. They cut a cat down the middle, threw it over their They fence. cut a cat guts out and threw it over my fence and then the next day Bill Garland said I smell dead P-U-S-S-Y Who's Bill Garland? Was my captain and he hated me and he wrote me up all the time and followed me on calls and would sit a block away and watch me and listen to me on the radio and he just harassed me the whole time he's the one that hit me in the back in 97 um, for no reason so then you went and told the mayor that these guys had done this to you. Who was the mayor? Yeah, at that time it was Bob Clary, which I told you he's a good man. He's a good he man. tried to help me. He wrote a memo and told him how to talk with him and told him to quit treating me differently. And um, uh, he did take up for me, but nobody was fired or reprimanded. Did, did, the, did the, any of the abuse stop? Um, for a little bit it did, for about two months maybe. And then... Um, then we had another mayor, John Elam. I told him the same thing. To, I let him know what was going on. And um, 
and uh, he tried to help with with paperwork but um oh no here comes a friend of mine uh, Adam will be the only thing live up uh, are we being posted right now we're rolling what's going on oh nothing I'll, I'll just talk to you are you, are you going to talk about something private yeah just if it's yeah. private I'll keep it private okay. yeah uh, can, I, can we talk one here and I am done yeah you yeah yeah okay do, do you see what happens with transparency? Yes. All of a sudden that keeps honest people honest. Because everybody can see, whoa, he's just sitting there. Yeah. He's just sitting there. And for years we've watched police videos where we watch them abuse people and they go, oh, well, what happened before that? And now because there's so many cameras, we see he was sitting on his couch before that. Yeah. He was walking on the street eating a hamburger before that. Before some cop attacked him. So the first guy you went to, though, he was in charge, and heads didn't roll. He reprimanded them through a memo, and he told those boys to stop picking on her. But nothing really got better. Maybe for a couple months it did. And then because nothing happened and no heads rolled and there was no precedent set, no discipline, no honor, no, in started right back up. no integrity, then it just started right back up because, the, what was the guy's name again? Bob Clary. Bob Clary. See, but Bob the whole time, Bob's the good cop. You're, you're a friend. I'm so sorry this is happening to you. You're my buddy. I'll tell those boys to stop picking on you, right? And then nothing happens. It's a great big nothing burger. So then the second mayor comes in. You tell him. Yes, I tell him. And he, he was aware of what was going on. Nothing happened. Um, but um, then Rich Blankenship got mayor, and I told him, I called him several times when they would do stuff to me, and um, he said he would take care of it, but yet when I filed a grievance and I had my hearing with my attorney in his office, he wouldn't let any witnesses on my side testify. Who I, I was not didn't? allowed to have any witnesses. Who didn't? Rich Blankenship, the mayor. Any relation to the current police who are blanking? I'm not sure. I don't know if he is or not. Any relation to Carl Blankenship? I don't know. What, when you say harassing you, what do you mean? What are they doing to harass you? Well, they would just... I was the, When I was the only woman, um, they would go in the... Just anything to get to me. They they, they went in, the, in my locker room, and I, it was just for the female dispatchers and me, and they put a junior, junior cop badge on my my locker said junior officer and uh, so then when I um, ha when I was on bike patrol someone cut the spoke on my bike and that they came to my house and made me walked in my bedroom and made me give them my utility knife thinking I did it myself why would I do that to myself and cause an accident I had to have knee surgery I didn't need all that harassment it was very I've I've been in therapy for years over what they did to me. Nobody did anything for you. And no. Not none, none of the mayors did. Even the one who was her friend. I'm your friend. I'm your buddy. And then he didn't do anything. And so there's no accountability because there's no transparency. There's no third party that looks over the mayor and says, "Hey mayor, any big complaints this month?" Uh, you know. There's no cameras that you, people go in the mayor's office. Why can't you see who goes? Because then, if there was a camera in the mayor's office that went to a third party then we would know on this date, on 2017, January, whatever the date is, we can go back and look and see if she went into the mayor's office without airing all of her personal, or, or, or even invading the mayor's personal space. But nothing. All right. Nothing, Burger. Test him, one, two, three. Not on February 3rd, 1996. It was a really big day for me. It was the day after I was hired as the first woman police officer in the city of Iron. I, um, I struggled daily with uh, what I've been through down there. And um, I only want women to know all over the world what I've experienced and hopefully that it will help somebody else. And. Um, if I can do anything to help another woman not go through what I did, I would really be relieved if a lot of pressure here. 
And for years this has been going on, where they point their lights at you and park their car and walk away. This bitch thought I was gonna be intimidated. And they kept driving their cars in a circle. For years they've tried to scare people and it works. The people here in this town are legitimately afraid. They think that you'll kill them, Spooge. Spooge Jarek. <laughs>